Right. We're just sending this car up in the air. Yeah. And I've only just noticed that <laughs> the lift, which is a forklift setup. Yeah. Five ton. Carriage. Also raises the roof. And I'm I'm just beyond impressed now. <laughs> Keeps a low profile. <laughs> when it's down. And that the forklift um, forks sit in rebates in the ground so that vehicles with even a very, very low ground yeah. clearance will still go up in the air. Just got to come down a little bit. Okay. Got to take this little chain off. There we go. We go up a little bit higher so we can get underneath. That'll do. So where do you start? At the back to the front? Or? Well, well, as I'm stood at the back, yeah. seems like as good a place as any. Well, yeah, there's the nine inch rear end from a breakers in America. Went went over with a guy I know in the States to a breakers yard. And she said, yeah, yeah, I've got a nine inch rear end down there. And he even could tell us what ratio it was. And she says, yeah, yeah, if you want that, I'll get it out for you. And later on that day, we just went and picked it up in the pickup truck, stripped it <laughs> yeah. completely, and then washed it all out. My friend made a box to put it all in. And, yeah, that's the nine-inch rear end, and now we got yeah. it. And coilovers. And... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced coilovers. Right. I don't, I don't think they're great for, for a road car, but... They're what we've got for now. Yes. Um, what are the rear brakes off? They're supercharged Jag. Oh, right, right. Like okay. XKR. Same yeah. as the wheels. It's it's all like XKR brakes, okay. which would stop a two-ton car from 160. So <laughs> uh, the only thing I do, if we're going, doing runway work and we're trying to yeah hit big speed, I've got some better pads for the front. I've got some Frodo sort of halfway between race and road Got and you. uh they they're funny because you stand on them and nothing happens and all of a sudden you stop in that quick you have to <laughs> it's back like off. You're a, it's like they have to get i think it's 400 degrees to oh, get right. yeah, yeah yeah so this pipe work here is that for the oil yeah that that's the oil yeah that's a recent thing in Which the in the rebuild i put this I put, yeah the i put the pipes on the inside route. of the chassis Right, and right. It's yeah. What I should have done originally, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then did the same this side with the brake pipes, fuel pipes, etc. There's some yeah. cross bracing going on yeah. Right here, isn't there? Yeah. And then this one, this one here is removable. Right. So you can get the the engine out. But that's that's the adapter. There's obviously the the converter, the flex plate. And oh, I'm, I'm going to turn around if I can. Yeah. Oh, Oh, Let me go up a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just watch your head. Yeah. That's right, there's nothing valid in there. So this is the plate that you made to take the That's the plate there, yeah, that thick plate. Yeah. To take the um yeah, take the transmission. Yeah. yeah. And is that is that the engine mount tucked in that's, there? That's the, the rear, rear mount. mount, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, is that a stock torque converter? That that one started off as a, a TCI Saturday Night Special. Yeah. And I was coming back one day years ago, and all of a sudden <coughs> it lost all drive. And so I pulled the transmission out, thought something wrong in here, and couldn't see anything wrong with the transmission. So I then took it over to a guy in Leicester who does transmissions and he rang me up. He said, there's nothing wrong with this transmission. I said, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> he said, well, he said, get, get your converter, put it on a bucket overnight, get the oil out of it and look down and see if the hub's cracked. And it was. Oh. And apparently TCI at that stage were making some pretty cheap and cheerful converters oh. and just changing the stall speed. 
And so <clears throat> I sent it to a guy oh, down in Sussex, um, I can't remember what it's called, Sus Sussex Auto Parts, I think, and he rebuilt it for me. What, so rebuilt the converter? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, he cuts course. it open, puts it in lathe, turns the weld off, uh, put a uh, chrome molly hub in it, and uh, it, he said the stall speed might not quite be what it was. Uh, right. And he said, if you're not happy with it, send it back. But well, I never have. It's, it's a little bit lower than it was. So it's got a bit more creep than you'd really want. Right. But there's, there's where we cut a bit off the sub because oh, it had a little yeah. pan on there. So I changed the pickup and put it in the side. Uh, yeah, otherwise you would be into ground clearance. Well, I, I, I ran it with the stock sump and it, it, it'd catch on the road a couple of times and ground a bit off it. And I thought, Oof, well, well, you know, it's going to be through that one day. Yeah. And we don't really want that. They always go around wiping these odd spots of oil off because <laughs> you chase the oil leaks till you get them all fixed. Um, but the big thing is you can't have anything much under the engine. So we've only got this rod, which is for the steering. Yeah. And that's it. And it's Jag. Jaguar so, Series 3 uh, suspension with yeah. Aston Martin Zagato Springs. Wow. So this is a serious big bell crank right here. Yeah, yeah. And that's, a that's all, damp about yeah. there. Yeah. Well, this this is an auxiliary ram because it's, oh, a, right, it's yeah, a BMW yeah. power box. Yeah. But it's not quite... I'm I'm still not hundred percent with the the power assist, but it's working. Uh, it's still got got a little bit of development to do on that, but it's it, it's it's, it's drivable. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, what's what's this above the steering knuckle? That's a uh, that's the pump to pump up the oil. Oh, pressure. the primer. Yeah, pr right, yeah okay. pre oiler. Yeah, it's a I think it's a Yamaha R one starter, and then the pump <laughs> is from a Bradbury lift. Uh, you know, a car lift. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, you just yes, bits kicking around, and Oof, yeah, yeah. You, know, you see, well, can we make this work? <laughs> you see the odd spots of oil on various things, and it's just. It's just chasing these oil leaks down, you know. You just keep wiping them off and seeing. The, the worst thing on these is the sumps are porous. Right, these are okay. terribly porous. They pour oil free. And I ended up with this one, um, sealer for petrol tanks. Yeah. It's like almost like silver paint. Oh, and and I, 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 stuff, I, was, yeah. I was researching all this online. And then I got onto this guy, um, Impregnation Solutions. There's a name. That's, and uh, he, you said, Googling at the time? he said, we don't have anything. But he said, try this. Yeah. He sent me a link. Tried it. It takes four days to set. Oh, wow. And, okay. uh, yeah, it, it works. It's Because you'd have spots of oil all over these Yeah. normally. And, yeah, they, 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 I guess they just didn't bother, did they? The what, so are they the cast, then, these? Yeah, that's a cast. Sort of, what yeah. are these little bosses in They're there? They're the bosses that hold the windage tray. Oh, oh right, there's a, right, There's right. a tray, you yeah. know. So you've got a gap like that under it for the oil to, and it picks up from the front and the back. It's got a scavenger. Oh, it's, a it's, scavenger. It's a double right. pump. Yeah. Yeah, it pumps from either the back or the front. That's a... Yeah, that's this that's intercooler pipe, uh, you yeah. know. Well, that's a fair old radiator, I assume you didn't... That That's made, yeah. Yeah. Now, there's, there's a bit of a story to that because... Um, I, I made that rad originally years ago, and it, it's just an ordinary core, made the end tank from brass sheet, whatever. And then I, I decided that I was going to have an aluminium rad to be really trendy. Yeah. Well, that's all it is, because in my experience, the aluminium rad didn't pull it as well as that. Right. And okay. I've talked to a couple of guys since who have found this. Uh, what One guy, certainly in drag racing, his friend had got exactly the same build, and he put an alley rad in, yeah, and it was 
warming up too much because very often with a hot rod you're really restricted aren't you with, yeah, your, yeah. with your rad size, size yeah, yeah. and i went i went I, I spent fair money on an alley rad for this and i'm a bit disappointed right and, I, and same run every time and so i could see how much it was heating up put this back in fixed it wow so okay so there you go shiny not necessarily shiny better. is not necessarily better <laughs> more expensive well, definitely but not better yeah yeah what's all this not going on right here oh that's this this is uh where the lpg comes in oh, where, right, when right, we okay. eventually get it all plumbed in uh yeah that's just uh filters and right. mountains for the pipe work and yeah uh, that's uh to come later <laughs> when we want to do some economy yeah. if if, if you can, it seems you like can, a good idea. At the you moment. can actually say it's economy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all relative. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've done, done so much to it this time round. I mean, all this pipe work running inside the chassis. Yeah. New floor pans. <laughs> loads, loads. Yeah, you think, oh, I'll just change that, and it. I'll oh, just it, yeah. everything that I'll takes just, it forever starts. Yeah. And, with, and, oh, if I just and you just keep, yeah, yeah, and you end up with this pile of bits and no car left. You know, oh, <laughs> got to get this back yeah. together sometime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And shiny stainless doesn't really stay shiny, does it? it well, loses its. Uh... <laughs> So, I mean, most people are going to know you through the um, your, your, your contributions to PPC. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah, I guess so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you, you, were, you were working with them for many years, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I guess, really, from when I, when I moved here, a uh, guy over the road uh, knew Will, because he worked at the same place. Um, yeah, Dale Lomas, he knew Will. And he said to Will, he says, hey, there's this neighbour opposite me. He's got this car with a yeah, a meteor tank engine in it. Would you be interested? He took some photographs. And then yeah. next thing, Will came. And, yeah, went from there, really. And, yeah. So, I mean, people would have, uh, sadly, PPC yeah, now uh, have yeah. now gone by the board. Yeah. Well, to be honest, that, that's how I've met most of the people I know through the magazine, through right, people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, yeah, you were, you were saying yeah, that a lot yeah. of people are contacting yeah, you for your yeah. expertise. And, I mean, and of course, seen... you, you stand at NEC, at Autosport, for three days, uh, aided by quite a bit of uh, ale. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, you get to know a lot of people. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd say this has got to be the most famous 27-litre uh, car still in the UK, must it? it? It's not quite the first because John Dodds was first. Ah, oh, but it's not in the UK anymore. But it's not. No, it's in Spain, <laughs> and yeah. uh, he was out in that in two thousand and eighteen. Yeah, he came over for yeah. was it drag style or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, and I believe it comes back once a year for its MOT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you know, I mean, I keep MOT in this. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just easier. You must have a friendly MOT test. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Good. good. Two, two actually. Oh, that's two. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to say, surely yeah. you bring this to your average, you take this to Alfred's test centre. Well, and see you, what you, you know, yeah. there's there's things that, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that make it different. Uh, well, this is what I mean. Handle yeah. with care. But when you go into a motor factors and you ask for a part by number, and they say, "What's your registration number?" You you don't Do you, you don't, don't, you, don't even, you don't even go there. You don't even go there because you. A lot of the bits I use, like filters and stuff, I keep the box lids. The book you saw earlier, yeah. lots of numbers are written down there, belts, stuff like that. Yeah. And and the older you get, the more you have to write down because you can't bloody remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. There you go. Giving things away. Yeah, it's, it's remembering what all the stuff came from, you know. And the trouble is now, in hindsight, there's a hell of a lot of stuff that's come along, like electric power steering, that would have been great for this. But it wasn't yeah. there all those years ago. I suppose not, no. Yeah, was, no. The one off a Vauxhall Corsa or something is the one everybody gets. Yeah, from. yeah, yeah, and that's great. Variable yeah. electric power assistance. Yeah, 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 that's what you want. Um, saves all those hydraulic pumps and 
stuff like that. But the problem with this was, with not being able to use a rack, uh, you ended up using the setup you've got, which came from the BMW 2500. Well, they stopped making them in the mid-70s. You it's certainly can't get yeah. a track ends anymore. Right, okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be re-engineering that somehow. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw a BMW 2500. Yeah. I mean, well, one yeah. other thing, for all the, the power and torque this thing makes, that's not a lot of tyre. No, no. 235. No, no. Does it not just blow no. them away? No. It's um, it's a, a Detroit true track diff in there. Yeah. A torque biasing diff. So there's no big bang. It doesn't suddenly lock up. And we... My friend helped me choose that. We actually, we used to go in Summit Racing quite a bit in Akron, though. Oh, been there in those time. days, that was the only one there was. Well, my friend lives literally just down the road from there. Oh, right. Yeah, I right. could borrow a push bike and push bike <laughs> up to Summit Racing. Oh. They look gone out at you, though. If you, if you walk anywhere or use a push bike, oh, there's something wrong with it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'd have thought if you if you go into Summit, you'd yeah. need a push bike with a yeah. two-ton trailer on it. Yeah, well, what, what I used to do, I you go in there and I'd say, oh, I'm staying with my friend up the road, and they knew him because he gets all this stuff from there. And I'd say, oh, if you sort this out for me, then ring when when it's ready. I'll get it picked up. <laughs> right. um, Fantastic. Yeah, it was, um, it was good in those days because the amount of stuff you could bring back on a plane Oh, I've got away with some rushes. No questions asked. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I bought torque converter, half shafts, loads of stuff. As I found Just on my last trip, you can come back with the crankshaft in your hand yeah. luggage. Not, you couldn't have a nail file. No. But you can carry a 50-odd yeah, yeah, pound crankshaft, yeah. no yeah. problem. Yeah, oh, I've come back. We actually filled an air pulp. Airport trolley right up. <laughs> and pushed it out straight through, nothing to declare. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I had a friend meet me at the airport and she said, Bloody hell, what, what's all this? That's from the car. <laughs> what are you doing building it from scratch? Well, see, some like, people come over with a sticker rock or a straw donkey. Yeah. Head yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm blown away with this. It's just fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, you so... have to see it to believe it, really, aren't you? So <laughs> um, I take it it's unlikely to be going many places over winter. No. We could we could go for a ride in it now, if you want. I am not going to discourage you from that. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll let it down. We'll take a break. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll fire it up. Super. Hey. Right, we'll pack this up and we'll come back to it in a minute.